Hi, and welcome to Bible Buddy. Today we are reading for day number 94, and we are in the book of Joshua. And today we are reading Joshua 7 and 8. Let's pray. Dear, heaven, dear Father in heaven, thank you for giving us your Son to save our souls. Now speak to, to us through the reading of your word. May you receive glory and honor in everything that we do and say. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Okay, so let's open up to John, uh, to Joshua 7. But the children of Israel committed a trespass in their accursed thing for Achan, the son of Carmi, the son of Zabdi, the son of Zerah, of the tribe of Judah, took off the accursed thing, and the anger of the Lord was kindled against the children of Israel. And Joshua sent men from Jericho to Ai, which is beside Bethaven, 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 on the east of Bethel, and spake unto him, saying, Go up and view the country. And the men went up and viewed Ai. And they returned to Joshua and said unto him, Let not all the people go up, but let about two or three thousand men go up and smite Ai, and let not all the people to labor thy tight. Tighter, for they are but few. So there went up tighter of the people about three thousand, and they fled before the men of Ai. And the men of Ai smoked of them about thirty and six men. For they chased him from before the gate, even into Shabaram, and smote them in the going down. Wherefore the hearts of the people melted and became as water. And Joshua rent his clothes and fell on the earth upon his face before the ark of the Lord until the eventide, he and the elders of Israel, and put dust upon their heads. And Joshua said at last, The Lord God, wherefore hast thou at all brought his people over Jordan, to deliver us into the hand of the Amorites, to destroy us, would to God he has been content, and dwell on the other side of Jordan, O Lord, what shall I say when Israel turneth their backs before their enemies? For the Canaanites and all the inhabitants of the land shall hear of it, and shall environ us round, and cut off our name from the earth, and what wilt thou do unto thy great name? And the Lord said unto Joshua, Get thee up, wherefore liest thou thus upon thy face? Israel hath sinned, and they have also transgressed my covenant which I commanded them, for they have even taken taken the accursed thing, and have also stolen, and dissembled also, and they have put it even among their own stuff. Therefore the children of Israel could not stand before their enemies, but turned their backs before their enemies, because they were accursed. Neither will I be with you any more, except ye destroy the accursed from among you. Up sanctify the people, and say, Sanctify, your, sanctify yourself yourselves against tomorrow for thus said the lord of is god of israel there is an accursed thing in the midst of thee o israel thou canst not stand before thine enemies until ye take away all the accursed thing from among you in the morning therefore ye shall be brought according to your tribes and it shall be that the tribe of the lord take it shall come according to the families thereof and the family which the Lord shall take shall come by households and the households the and the household which the Lord shall take shall come man by man and it shall be that he that hath taken with the accursed thing shall be burnt with fire he and all that he hath because he hath transgressed the covenant of the Lord and because he hath wrought folly in Israel so Joshua rose up early in the morning and brought Israel by their tribes, and the tribe of Judah was taken. And he brought the family of Judah, and he took the family of the Zarhites, and he brought the family of the Zarhites man by man, and Zabdi was taken. And he brought his household man by man, and Achan the son of Carmi, and the son of Zabdi, and the son of Zerah, and the tribe of Judah was taken. When Joshua said unto Achan, My son, give I pray thee, Glory to the Lord God of Israel, and make confession unto him, and tell me now that thou hast done, hide it not from me. And Achan answered Joshua and said, Indeed, I have sinned against the Lord 
God of Israel, and thus and thus have I done. When I saw among the spoils of godly, goodly Babylonish garment, and two hundred shekels of silver, and a wedge of gold, and fifty shekels weight, then I coveted them, and took them, and behold, they are in the hid in the earth in the midst of thy tent, of my tent, and the silver under it. So Joshua sent messengers, and they ran and into the unto the tent, and behold, it was hidden his tent, and the silver under it. And they took them out of the midst of the tent, and brought it into Joshua, and unto the children of Israel, and laid them out before the Lord. Then Joshua and all the Israel with him took Achan the son of Zerah, and the silver, and the garment, and the wedge of the gold, and his sons, and his daughters, and his oxen, and his asses, and his sheep, and his tent, and all that he had, and they brought them unto the valley of Achor. Joshua said, "What hast thou? Why hast thou troubled us? The Lord shall trouble thee this day." And all Israel stoned him with stones and burned them with fire. After they had stoned them with stones, and they raised over him a great heap of stones until this day. So the Lord turned from the fierceness of his anger. Wherefore the name of that place was called the Valley of Achor until this day. And the Lord said to Moses, "Fear not." Neither be thou dismayed. Take all the people of war with thee, and arise, go up to Ai. See, I have given into thy hand of the king of Ai and his people and his city and his land. And thou shalt do to Ai and her king as thou didst unto Jericho and her king. Only the spoil thereof and the cattle thereof shall ye take for the prey unto yourselves. Lay thee in ambush for the city behind it. So Joshua arose, and all the people of war. To go up against I and Joshua chose out thirty thousand mighty men of valor and sent them away by night. And he commanded them, saying, Behold, ye shall lay in wait against the city, even behind the city. Go not very far from the city, but ye shall be ready. And I, and all the people that are with me, will approach unto the city, and it shall come to pass when people come out against us at. As at the first, that we will flee before them, for they will come after us, till we have drawn them from the city. For they will say, "They flee before us." As at the first, therefore we will flee before them, and ye shall raise up from the ambush and seize upon the city. For the Lord your God will deliver it into your hands, and it shall be, when ye have taken the city, that ye shall set the city on fire according to the commandment of the Lord. Shall ye do? See, I have commanded you. Joshua therefore sent them forth, and they went to lie in ambush and abode between Bethel and Ai, in the west side of Ai. But Joshua lodged that night among the people, and Joshua rose up early in the morning and numbered the people and went up, and he and the elders of Israel before the people to Ai. And all the people, even the the people of war that were with him, went up and drew high, drew nigh, and be. And came before the city and pitched on the north side of Ai. Now there was a valley between them and Ai, and he took about five thousand men and set them to lie in ambush between Bethel and Ai on the west side of the city. And when they had set set the people, even all the host was at was on the north of the city with their liars in wait in the west of the city. Joshua went that night into the midst of the valley, and it came to pass when the king of Ai saw it. That they had rose up early, and the men of the city went out against Israel to battle. He and all his people, at the time appointed before the plain, but he wist not that there were liars in ambush against them behind the city. And Joshua of all people made as if they were beating them before them, and fled by the way of the wilderness. And all the people that were in Ai were called together to pursue after them, and they pursued after Joshua. And they were drawn away from the city, and there was not a man left in Ai or Bethel that were not out after Israel. And they left the city open and pursued after Israel. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Stretch out the spear that is in thy hand toward Ai, and I will give it into thine hand. And Joshua stretched out the spear that he had in his hand toward the city, and the ambush arose quickly out of their place. And they ran as soon as they stretched out his hand, and they entered into the city and took it and hasted it and set the city on fire. 
And when the men of Ai looked behind them, they saw and behold, the smoke of the city ascended up into heaven, and they had no power to flee this way. Or that way, and the people that fled into the wilderness turned back on, upon the pursuers. And when Joshua and all the people saw that the ambush had taken the city, and that the smoke of the city ascended, then they turned again and slew the men of Ai. And the other issued out of the city against them. So they were in the midst of Israel, come on this side, some on this side, and some on that side, and, and they smote them so that they let none of them remain or escape. And the king of Ai they took alive and brought him to Joshua. And it came to pass when Israel had made an end of slaying and all the inhabitants of Ai in the field, in the wilderness wherein they chased him. And when they were out fallen on the edge of the sword until they were consumed, all that the Israelites returned into Ai and smote it with the edge of the sword. And so it was that all that fell that day both men and women were twelve thousand, even all the men of Ai. For Joshua drew not his hand back, wherewith he stretched out with the spear, until he had utterly destroyed all the inhabitants of Ai. Only the cattle and the spoil of the city of Israel took for a prey unto themselves, according unto the word of the Lord which he commanded Joshua. And Joshua burnt Ai, and made it a heap forever, even a desolation unto this day. And the king of Ai he hanged on a tree until eventide. And as soon as the sun was down, Joshua commanded that they should take his carcass down from the tree and cast it at the entering of the gate of the city and raise therein that great heap of stones that remaineth unto this day. When Joshua built an altar unto the Lord of God of Israel on Mount Ebi, as Moses the servant of the Lord commanded the children of Israel, as it is written in the book of the law of Moses, an altar of whole stones, over which no man hath lift up any iron. So they offered therein burnt offerings unto the Lord, and sacrificed peace offerings. And he wrote there upon the stones a copy of the law of Moses, which he wrote in the presence of the children of Israel. And all Israel and their elders and officials and their judges stood on this side of the ark and on that side before the priests, the Levites, which bear the ark of the covenant of the Lord, and as well the stranger, as he that was born among them, half of them over against Mount Gerizim, and half of them over against Mount Ebal, as Moses the servant of the Lord had commanded before, that they should bless the people of Israel. And afterward he read all the words of the law, the blessings and the cursings, according to the, all that is written in the book of the law. There was not a word of all that Moses commanded, which Joshua read not before all the congregation of Israel, with the men, with the women, and the little ones, and the strangers that were conversant among them. Okay, thank you for reading along. And tomorrow we're going to read um, jo Joshua 9, and I can't wait. So I hope you all are having a wonderful and blessed day. Thanks for reading along.